Hey guys, it's Natalia for Coco Perez from Natalia Fender Design and today I'm going to show you how to punish your jeans. That's right, I did just say punish your jeans because they've been very naughty and you're going to distress them like a pro. All you need is some sandpaper, those naughty jeans, and of course safety pins. Alright, let's get to it. The first thing you're going to do is put on your jeans. I know it's super simple, but you have to figure out where your knees hit the jeans. So you have your jeans on, and now you want to mark where your knees are. Break out those big safety pins, bend your knee, stab it through. Now make sure you don't stab your actual knee. That won't be very cool at all. You're not punishing your knee, you're punishing the jeans, right? Okay. Pin it through. Time to get naked again. Okay, you want to put on those jeans and mark where your knees are with safety pins, like I've done right here. And as you see, I have my safety pins where my knees hit. And you want to take that sandpaper. Girls, guys, this is actually a good workout. We're about to, you know, get to it. All right. Fold that sandpaper into a couple of squares like this. Make it about this size. And if you have sensitive hands, you might want to get somebody else to do this because it can be a little bit rough on your fingers. Let's start on the easy parts. Start on the belt loops. Now if you really want to distress your jeans like a pro, you're not just going to distress the obvious places. I mean nothing looks worse than those cheap, cheap jeans where they like kind of distress them. <sighs> Come on, it doesn't really look like someone wore them. So you're going to just distress, distress, distress. As you can see, a sign of good distress is when all that fuzz is coming off like that. It really looks worn out. Of course, you don't want to distress it so much that your belt loop actually comes off the jeans. Okay, now the next area is the pockets. So you want to just sand, sand, sand. And if you find that your sandpaper is kind of falling apart, just flip it over. Sandpaper is really easy to find. I actually got this at the pharmacy. I mean, you can get it anywhere, hardware stores, CVS. Okay, now you want to, once you're happy with the uh, belt loop area, you can move on to the knee or the thigh. You know, usually when we wear jeans, we tend to wear them out kind of in that pocket area. And what's really, really cool is because there's actually a pocket inside already, you can use that to give you a little bit more texture. You'll see what I mean. Just start rubbing and whatever's underneath is going to affect what it looks like above it. Now if you want to make this go by faster, make sure you buy the sandpaper with the highest grade of sands. That means it's the one that literally looks like you took it to the ocean, dipped it in the sand, and pulled it back up because it's the most coarse. Moving on to the knee. So go ahead and remove that safety pin and start distressing right where that safety pin was. Now as you can see, because I am really going to town on this pair of jeans, it's starting to get that holy look, and I don't mean religion, it's starting to get that holy look in the knee, um, which is really cool. I like that effect, so I'm going to keep doing it, but if you prefer your distress to be more on the mild side of things, it may be a good time for you to stop at this point. All right. Girls, if you're like me and you got some serious thighs, you know that you're not being honest with yourself unless you distress the thigh area. Okay, I am loving the velvety texture that my pants are getting. They're also extra soft now. They don't have that awful crisp feeling that brand new over dyed jeans do. So before I finish up, I'm gonna hit the seams because we all know the seams are the things that really get distressed when you wear a pair of pants a lot. So just go, go, go. <sighs> I'm exhausted, guys, but we're almost done. I see the finish line in sight. Time for the bottom, the cuff of the jeans. You can cut them off if you want, or you can just continue going to town. Going to town, I came up with that phrase. You can cut them off, or you can just continue to sandpaper them. Honestly, if you're having a bad day and you're just really stressed out about something, take your anger out on those naughty pair of jeans. Stupid jeans. Feels so much better. So as you can see, there's nothing wrong with the foreside, and it is already slightly distressed to begin with. But, you know, when you really want to rock out, you have to get a little bit of sandpaper in there. As you can see, my knee is a little bit holier than it used to be. I feel a bit more edgy. 
Now distressed jeans are definitely an item you have to pick and choose when you wear, but you know there's a time and a place to rock out, and I hope you'll rock out with me. It's Natalia Fedner, check me out on Twitter, tweet me some pics of your distressed jeans. Sarà che a scuola ero un po' sfigato Ma nessuno è mai riuscito a farmi stare zitto Ho preso crocche in faccia, ho sanguinato Ma ti giuro che non mi sono mai dato per sconfitto